Hello everyone and welcome to the Pulse Crescent's Varsity Roundtable, a weekly look at high school sports in the Fox Valley area and the only live online high school sports talk show in the state. I'm Ricardo Arguello, part of the USA Today Network Wisconsin digital live stream team. We are here in an amazing high definition <laughs> at the mothership, the Pulse Crescent 306 West Washington Street, downtown Appleton. And this week, it's championship week. This is a championship edition <laughs> of the Varsity Roundtable. We are proud to have two representatives from the Fox City Stars girls hockey team, the WIAA state champion girls hockey team. Uh, we have farthest over to my right, we have Lauren Hall. Lauren, say hi to everyone. Hi. There we go. <laughs> Directly to my right, we have Tori Nelson. Tori, there hi. you go. <laughs> Ladies are on hand to talk about the big weekend that they had winning that WIAA state title. Look at them, they can't wait to answer any questions that you might have. So that leads into my next thing here. If you have a question for the two ladies, please log into that live chat. You can find that next to the viewer if you're watching on a desktop. Uh, you should be able to log in. Give yourself a name though. They want to know who's asking these questions. <laughs> don't, be, don't be put anonymous or guest or anything. And uh, we have Brett Christofferson over there behind the computer. He'll get those questions over to us right away. Don't forget about Jim Rosendick. Making sure that we're live and in color, right man? All right, yeah, punching <laughs> buttons behind the live stream machine uh, as our producer. But I want to let everyone know and, and I don't know what your situation is. Guys, you can't be asking for numbers or anything like that. All right, you got to keep it on hockey. And we'll be just fine. <laughs> you know, the first couple of times we had the show, people were asking, you know, girls were asking for numbers and stuff. We can't do that. So uh -oh. I, I just shut that down. But first up, let's talk about the title game. Well, I'm going to go right into it. Let's talk about okay. the title game. Um, actually, no, let's do our introductions first. So first, that's what I want to do. Sorry about that, Lauren Hope. Please yeah. let every, this is where I want you to look at the camera, actually. Okay. Okay, tell everyone the position you play and how you got in to play hockey? Okay, I play center, so I'm in the middle, and then I got into hockey because my dad played when he was little and throughout high school, and he just really wanted a kid who played hockey. So, okay, yeah. all right, go ahead. Um, um, I'm Tori again, and I'm a defenseman, and I got into hockey because my brother played it, and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever, so. Okay, good stuff. Now let's get in. I was also so excited to talk about the championship <laughs> game because uh, the fantastic finish and winning it. Um, what were you feeling right after you guys, you guys saw the goal? And I've seen the video, by the way, Mike's Jerry was covering, out, covering it for us from the Post Crest. He has it on his Twitter if you want to go mm -hmm. check it out. Just an incredible moment. I'm going to start here. Uh, what did you think, Tori, and, and go to Lauren on this, uh, when you saw that kind of unfolding, what were you thinking as you saw that? And I'm sure there's something you've seen before, Jablonski, <laughs> kind of getting the job done, right? Yeah, and honestly, the second I saw Lauren hit her with a beautiful pass, I'm like, this is it. <laughs> I'm like, this is it. I knew that um, Jib has done that move almost Every single time she gets okay. close on a goalie, so I thought the second Lauren hit her with that pass mm -hmm. and she was open, I knew it was it. So awesome! Now Lauren, yeah, so you have the assist on that. Yeah. What did you see? Did you see? Did, did what? Did you see a flash? And you guys obviously have chemistry, so you know you play with each other. Yeah. What did you see? Unfold that play for um, us. Well, Tori and Annika, the other girl on me and Maddie's line, um, they actually held the puck in, and all the girls from Hudson collapsed on us, so it really opened up the space for Jim to get around them. And I okay. just, I saw the flash of her, I, and I just saw her, and I. You knew, I knew you knew, it, didn't yeah. you? All right, outstanding stuff. Yeah, that that overtime goal uh, led to that championship win uh, over Hudson. Big, big moment for Fox City Stars uh, uh, hockey. Um, I, you, but you had to win a couple games to get there. You know, let's talk mm -hmm. about how the overall state experience was like. I'll, we'll start over per, here first with Lauren. What was that like for you? Because you know, you, you basically have a, a very concentrated period of games. Mm -hmm. Not that you haven't done that before in tournaments, but the, these, this is on the biggest stage now. Yeah. What was that like? And as a player, knowing that these are your three biggest games yeah. of your life. Uh, it was incredible. You know, starting with the sectional game against Bondi, yep. we knew. We had lost to them a couple times early in the year, so we really knew we had to bring it to them with that game. And I don't know, we were just so excited and we had nothing to lose. We were just ready to put it all out there and see what happened. What was your first time there, though? I mean, knowing that you had yeah. to win the, the two games. What was that like for you? Do, do you think? Did you feel nervous? Was there nerves <laughs> at all? You tell me what it was like <laughs> in the locker room. Um, well, we were all excited, you can tell, but we also were a bit nervous as our mm -hmm. coach. Um, told us a lot. We were playing tight and he made it very obvious <laughs> yeah. to us yeah. many yeah. times. So, I mean, there was a lot of nerves, but I've never seen a group of girls so excited in their lives for something. Mm -hmm. So, it was exciting at the same time. Outstanding. Uh, we have some stuff from all like, could be billions watching us, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Who's watching? What Hopefully. do you got, Brad? A lot of hockey fans, I think, watching tonight. Okay. But we'll start with Flexen0000 zero, 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 wow. wants to know. Who's the best dancer on the team? All oh, right, great. <laughs> oh, this is going to be an eventual question, but let's do that now. See, um, people want to know. Shout out to Tatiana Fassbender. You know, so I, <laughs> that's my girl. 
Um, every every time in the locker room before a game, she's out there dancing for us. And in, in, in the uniform or before? Any time. Oh, any wow. time. Okay, so it don't matter. Okay. Yeah. Your thoughts on that? I would have to agree. Todd is um, the I guess the craziest dance I've ever seen in my life. She mm -hmm. doesn't really have any like. She um, just goes for she it. She just goes for it. She just kind of goes crazy. She okay. has. She's also the most energetic person on the team. So yeah. you can tell that when she's dancing. Oh, yeah. outstanding! Good question, Brett. Yeah. So let's keep it going on with the online stuff. Yeah, let's do uh, Mr. Magoo. Uh, okay. Checking in. Who was your favorite youth coach? Okay. Easy uh, now. Now be careful how you answer this. Obviously, it's someone who's asking because they want their name being said. Uh, <laughs> This has go this has gone through my mind before. So my my dad has been my youth co youth coach for many years, and I know he's gonna want me to say him. Um, so probably my dad. I learned it all from him. Okay, so. great. Um, my coach, Mike Hedke. I grew up in Michigan, so he was my coach when I okay. still played in Michigan. So Mike Hedke. Good stuff. All right. Hey, before we move on, uh, Rosie, I wanted to get a, a camera on, on the on the on the. Sure. You, you already did it, okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure. And, but here, here's the next thing I want to do. Go ahead, Lauren, and, and Tori, if you want to pick up. And Rosie, if you can get it on. This is the bling bling they get uh, for winning it all. Those are the gold medals that they get uh, for winning the state championship. Real you got gold. it on there? <laughs> real gold. <laughs> it is real gold, yes. It's about five, six hundred dollars <laughs> worth. We got it. Good stuff, ladies. Congratulations. How, how, and how thrilling was that? What was going through your mind as you were being crowned champ? You, you really are crowned champs. I mean, you, yeah. you guys are given the medals, yeah. you're given the trophy. What was that like, Lauren? Uh, indescribable. I couldn't, it was, like, I was speechless. I couldn't believe it. Um, it was just so exciting to finally see our hard work pay off. Okay, and, okay. Yeah. Tori? It was pure joy for us, um, yeah. especially because you, there's a picture of Lauren and I holding up the trophy the second yeah. after Coach handed to us. It was and. From I think Western. it was from you guys, actually. Yeah. Well, and really? Yeah. 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 And that's, that's I think that's one of my favorite hockey pictures ever because mm -hmm. um, you see us and we're just losing our minds over something that yeah. we worked so right. hard for all year mm -hmm. long. So, yeah. Pure joy. Good stuff. Actually, that's Danny Damiani, who was, uh, he's, he sits right over here. He does. Us. He yeah. does. Yeah, it was. So, you have something else from online, Brad? A couple more here from Mr. Magoo again. Wants to know if Tori is a youper. I yeah. am a youper. Um, I grew up in Iron River, Michigan. So, oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Interesting. And let's do this one from Gretzky. Which school gets the trophy? That's a great question. That is a great <laughs> question. A lot yeah, of schools so who, involved here. Oh, now, how many schools total, Coach, is, is, was involved? Is it 16? Uh, 10, 10 represented. 10 represented, 10 represented on the team. Mm -hmm. um, Kimberly's obviously one of them, but you know all the Appleton schools, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Who, who, who gets to keep it? Or is it a uh, rotated or what? They're making replicas, yeah. so oh. everyone's going to get one. So yeah. any school that really wants one, they can buy one, but I think that the real one, that one right there is going to go to Tri-County. So. Okay, so, yeah. okay, okay yeah. that's cool. The arena, sure. Awesome. That's very good. Thanks for that. That's inside stuff. A good question. <laughs> Brett, something that's else? It. Okay. Um, let's, now let's talk about the roster a little bit. Mix of girls from, like we said, the 10 schools. How, how did the chemistry work? I mean, you're, you're throwing together girls from all over the place. Yeah. And not that you're not friendly. I'm sure you guys are all friendly. <laughs> but did you do anything special to kind of push along that kind of chemistry? You're um, laughing already. <laughs> so did, did that I mean, happen? We've played together since forever. We okay. started on youth okay. teams with each other. And then Appleton, um, that youth association is the only one that splits into two high schools. So when Appleton United was still at... Um, mm -hmm. A team and the tr and the stars were a different team. The girls from Appleton and then the tr um, Fox Valley would split up, and you wouldn't play with them anymore. But this year, since we got brought back, it just brought all the youth memories and okay. chemistry back. Okay, so it was really easy, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah that's it. Was, it, yeah. it was a cool transition. Yeah. Um, yeah. Were you excited to see that you get ladies were all going to be thrown mm -hmm. together in, in that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our favorite part is that um, a lot of the girls that we won U14 State with were on the yeah. team this year. So yeah. it was a great year for us because a lot of girls that you grew up with are on the team. So it's kind of actually mm -hmm. easy and it's nice to see someone different than at your school every day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow, great stuff. Again, here with Fox City Stars champs, <laughs> WI State champions, we have Lauren Hall and Tori Nelson. If you have any questions, log into that live chat. Brett can't wait to get these questions over these two ladies uh, who, you know, really, th this is this is a pivotal moment for you. But I do got to talk about Coach. <laughs> <laughs> and then after Coach, we're going to talk about uh, some of the specifics of the roster again. But what can you tell me about Coach that people might not know? <laughs> and you know me. I want to know some dirty stuff. I want to know some nefarious stuff. Uh, you know, what, what does he do? Does, uh, you know, <laughs> he, he <laughs> There's a lot of laughing going on here. He loves some good filler words. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. We call first off, what, what, now what are filler words? 
Um, when he can't think of anything to say, he likes to just insert his uh, one phrase he always likes to say. Yes. He, he likes to say, uh, and things along that line. <laughs> <laughs> every, every single thing. <laughs> and every time he does every, it, do you let him know? We, we count on our fingers. <laughs> we count. My, another thing is he likes to say howdy, and that's one of my howdy. favorite things. You say hi, coach, and he goes, howdy. Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah. Funny yes, guy. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Because I, I, I uh, like the quirks. Come on, um, let's see. Um, and by the way, Coach is here, <laughs> yeah. so right he, he's, he's hearing it all right now. My favorite thing is when he gets a little tent, he has this little vein that pops out <laughs> the side of his uh -huh. head. And Did you see yeah. that during the championship oh, game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Good stuff. We're seniors. We can say this. Yeah, stuff. sorry. <laughs> We're out Sorry, Coach. We're out. It's all coming out now. <laughs> Brett, did you have something from our Remember, they're seniors, so they can say whatever yeah, they want about Yeah, that's true. Coach now, without any repercussions. Nope, not at all. Did you have something from our I do. Gretzky's checking in again. I wants to know... Give us an idea on how much it costs to play. There you go. Great um, question. I think our fees this year were eight hundred. It, to, I don't yeah. know. The fees aren't even the bad part. It's actually the equipment part. Yeah, yeah. So, so equipment. So give me, so give me a basic, like for you, Lauren, this year. Um, how much do you think? First off, your parents. Yeah. <laughs> your, your great parents are paying for this. What was it like? How much do you think? Uh, just typically, you think? I mean, I didn't get any new gear. I've had okay. it for the, since the past couple years for high but school. But let's say, but let's say you had to be outfitted for the year. Oh, oh. Um, skates. So you're looking at a good three hundred. Even um, more. Maybe more. Okay. Um, well, I wear juniors, sorry. Well, for mine. I have small feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to wear seniors, so I get up in the 500s. Yeah. So wow. just for skates, it's for a skates, pretty it's decent a amount. And then with skate sharpenings, you know, maybe once a week if you're really skating on them. My second favorite part is a stick. Those get Sticks pretty expensive, are really expensive too. too. Yeah. Yeah. Upwards of 100. Um, I don't know. Equipment. And the pads. Yeah. And that's all provided by the school, though, right? No, we have to pay for it all. Mm -hmm. Summits are actually surprising. So right now, you're, you're talking right now, Brett, easily $1,500, right? That, well, that, that doesn't even include the fees, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Well, can so we piggyback, because Gretzky then wants to know how many sticks have you gone through this Oh, season? don't even um, get me started. So. Um, this year, I think I've gone through three or four. Yeah. Actually, a crazy part is I didn't actually break any sticks this year, but I didn't get a new one, so I'll I'll count that as okay. getting I've gone a new one. Through a few. Okay, wow, that's incredible. I always always get a kick out of listening to how much it costs to uh, play the ask, game of hockey. Ask Coach yeah. about his son's sticks. His son's break <laughs> almost every he single game. He broke like five. Now, do you buy them in bulk, Coach? No. No. Okay. <laughs> one big check at a time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. Did you have something else, Brett? Well, I, I actually a question of my own is is ice time and what what time are practices? Because yeah. you always hear about these uh, hockey teams yes. that have to go in like at five in the morning. Yeah, that's true. We were lucky enough to we didn't have any morning practices this year. Um, mm -hmm. Most of our practices are either at like four to five after school okay. or five to six, depending on when the boys are on the ice. The boys so. teams usually take the morning ice, which is really nice yeah. for us because we have a lot of girls on our team that could not handle mm -hmm. morning. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Good, good that it turned out that it helped you <laughs> yeah. out that way. Interesting stuff. Brett, did you say you had, had something? Yeah, let's do this from Rosie322. I don't think that's you, Rosie, is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what other sports do you participate in and will you continue playing hockey? Yes. Um, I play soccer as well, okay. so I'll be playing for the Kimberly team. It starts in a couple weeks, and then I will be playing college hockey next year. Oh, fantastic. Where are yeah. you going to do that? Um, St. Scholastica. Okay, Duluth. sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Minnie. There you go, Brett. Should have been a pointer. Okay, <laughs> here we go. But yeah, congratulations Thank for you. that. And uh, how about for you? Um, I'm all hockey, except for my freshman year. I did play softball, but I didn't like it very much. So now I'm just full-time hockey. Okay. And I will be going to Eau Claire next year. Okay, outstanding. Yeah. Wow, good stuff. Listen to Brett. Brett, Brett's a UWSP <laughs> grad, so he doesn't like that stuff. Great stuff. Brett, should I take a little halftime? Should yes. Should I take a 30? Okay, Let's I got to do something. I got to pay the bills. <laughs> we got to do that. I'm up actually, Brett, so I don't forget, I'm going to start off with our presenting sponsor. That's a good idea. Yes, Community First Credit Union. When you bring your deposit to Community First, your money becomes a source of great good for you and your community. Find Community First Credit Union online at communityfirstcu.org. So we also want to send a shout out to our apparel sponsor, Brett. Good that you're wearing it there. It's uh, Silly Toast. I'm not. <laughs> I know you're he not. is. Rosie is. Rosie tonight. is. But uh, yeah, so we can't get the camera on Rosie right now. But uh, yeah, Silly Toast, thank you so much for uh, being our apparel sponsor as well. Okay, now let me get to the uh, some of the other promos. First off, are you, are you ladies uh, Packer fans? Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, you're from the UP. You're still a Packer fan. <laughs> I always have been. My dad's okay. been a Packer fan, so I wow. am too. Wow. Okay. Well, good for you. I, I can't stand them. I'm a Bears fan. But I co-host <laughs> a Packer show with that guy right there, Brett Christopherson. Rosie produces it. We can't see who our guest is this year, right, Brett? We, we well, it's not in 
it's, there's no contract yet. Okay, so right. But we're we're working we we're working with some very very some people that I'm sure everyone will love. But uh, this past year we had who? Josh Jones, mm -hmm. the uh, safety for the Packers. And uh, in years past we've had David Bakhtiari as our host, John Kuhn as our host, uh, Ty Montgomery. Uh, best Packers show around. It's free. It's over there. It's not the, it's not the Paper Valley Hotel. Oh, it is a Paper Valley Hotel, but it's the Red, the Red Lion. Lion. Red Lion now inside is the Clubhouse Sports Grill. That's where the show is. It's free. You ladies are invited if uh, you have time uh, during the fall. Every Monday, 6.30 p.m., you get to meet your favorite. Who's your favorite Packer? Mm, I can't really pick one, really. Okay, all right. Well, they'll probably have been on the show then. How about for you, Lauren? It's not a Packer anymore, but Jordy Nelson. Been on our show. Yeah. So that you get to meet Aaron Rodgers. All the, all the top guys have been on our show. Except for Clay Matthews. But anyway, <laughs> let's not talk about that. But yeah, so come on down. It's free every Monday, 6.30 p.m. Best, best Packer show around Twitter. Now, Lauren, you have a Twitter account. Go ahead and, and give it if you want to. Go ahead. Uh, Lauren underscore Hall, if you want to follow me. I don't do anything, but okay. just follow me. Okay. I'm at PC Ricardo. But tell us in here, she doesn't have, she's, not, she's not buying into the Twitter. I'm a loser. I mean, no, no, I didn't say that. No, no, no. <laughs> she's just not, not down with Twitter, so you have to worry about her. Brett's at PC Brettsy. Rosie's at Metal Rosie. I love Twitter. That was my favorite thing. You know, I tweet, tweet it all the time when you ladies in that first game against Cap City. It was really fun watching you ladies play. Uh, you know, that game and, and, and coming out and watch you ladies beat them. Um, the podcast, we talked about you ladies today in the R&B show. Now listen, I know you ladies have phones, right? You have your, you have your <laughs> smartphones. Go to iTunes and download the R&B show. It's the only podcast dedicated to high school sports in the Fox Valley area. R&B, get it, Ricardo and Brett. So just go ahead and do it. We talked about you ladies at length. I know I talked about state hockey and stuff like that. So please check it out. Uh, we'd love for if you become a subscriber because, uh, you know, it's, it's always fun to have people uh, listen to our show every week. So, um, shout outs, end of the show. Think about who you can send some love to, right? <laughs> yeah. Lauren. I'm okay, thinking. don't forget anybody. I'm, I'm serious, don't forget anybody. All right, because I don't want to hear you ladies uh, getting in you know, trouble or anything like that. <laughs> um, I do want to do a couple more things. Uh, we do have a live stream tomorrow, Brett Wright, uh, the boys' sectional semifinal, Kalkana, Green Bay Southwest. That's live at, uh, where was that from? Pulaski High Pulaski School. Pulaski High School, no. right. So please check it out. 645 is when they're going to go live. You, Rosie, and did we have a third? Not yet. Not yet, okay. I will not be there. I will be, I will be uh, winning an award, Brad. How do you like that, huh? At, uh, at the WNA Banquet. Good okay, I'll be there. But speaking of awards, did you see Michael Phelps is going to be our awards uh, special, what, what, what do we call him, our guest speaker? Our featured guest at Our the May guest. 8th Wisconsin High yes. School Sports um, Yes, so yeah. uh, the, uh, the Wisconsin High School Sports, North, uh, Northeastern Wisconsin? No, it's the Wisconsin High School Sports Award. How many, how many years have you and I been I doing this show? I don't know, I never, I never remember the name of it. <laughs> Here's the thing, it used to be at Lambeau, now mm -hmm. it's at the PAC. Uh, last year we had Aaron Rodgers as our guest. This year it's Michael Phelps, only the most decorated Olympian of all time, correct Brett? Yeah. So uh, yeah. That's going to be a fun show. May 8th, is it, Brett? So yep, and I'm putting ticket information there you go. on the chat right now. Thank you so much. So yep. there you go. We're going to honor all our top high school athletes. I'm going to guess, uh, is, is Fox City going to be... Uh, Actually, I was going to talk to Coach about that after the show, but it's very likely that I'll be reaching out to him because we have been inviting all of our state champions to the show. So there you go. So you'll be able to come and watch the best night in high school sports. That's going to be on May 8th. Uh, so there you go. Okay, I'm done with paying the bills. <laughs> Have you watched yourself on TV replay yet? Have you have you watched any of that? Um, um, and, and and if so, how many times? Um, uh, not. Oh, still look at her. <laughs> you take it away. Take it away. <laughs> well, we were talking about this. Like these um, clips of all of our goals are everywhere. Yeah. So I think I've watched the game the winner and the game tire like yeah. at least thirty times each. Yeah. And, and, on it never, and it never gets old. It never no. Gets old. <laughs> no. Never. Wow, that's cool. Because I, I watched them a bunch of times. And I was like, man, this is really super cool. Yeah. So outstanding. Brett, let me know if you have something from online. Rituals and superstitions, one of my favorite things to talk about. So before, I want to know individual and team. Okay, Lauren? Okay. So go ahead. Do you do anything specific to get ready for a game? Do you got to go to Jimmy John's? Do you get, what, what do you do to get ready? And then you both can talk, and then I'll ask you as well. Okay. Tomorrow, but then you guys talk about team after that. Go ahead. Um, I don't really have anything. I mean, the one kind of weird thing is I have to put my right skate on. Okay. I have to put my right skate before my left, but I don't, nothing else. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. That, that's you know that's that's kind of quirky, but it's not a ritual. Thanks. So <laughs> yeah, it's okay. How about for you, Tori? I guess it's not a ritual, but it's a superstition. I have to have this bracelet on all okay. the time. It's, Real, uh, Rosie, yeah. can you get a, a shot of that? It's yeah. uh, and what does it mean? What does that? This entail? is for my um, brother who passed away in a car accident. Oh, so I, no, even so though you're okay. not supposed to have bracelets on, I roll it up into my um, forearm and it okay. goes under my gear, and I have to have it or I get really upset. 
So um, it's kind of my thing. I'm like, if I don't have it on, I'm just like, oh no, like it's, okay. this is not good. But it's always on me anyway. So That's I mean, <laughs> incredible, an incredible thing. Now, did you think of him when uh, you won the state title? Was that one of those things that kind of came to you, maybe a little later, bit? later, a little bit actually, because okay. I have it on all the time. So it's not like I can really forget it. Okay. <laughs> like, all right, interesting, very, very interesting. Brett, did you have something for? Mom? Yeah, we have a few questions here. If we can get to them, let's start with Ryan. Who wants to know the best student section leaders? <laughs> Um, These you know, guys just want well, shout outs, well, basically. We yeah. don't ever get a student section to our game, home games mm -hmm. because nobody from our school really knows about girls' <laughs> hockey. Right. And okay. They think that it's boring and mm -hmm. the guys' hockey is better because they can actually legally check people. So yeah, so we'll fun. talk about that next. But yeah, so uh, you, so you, you you don't know student leaders. The only time we had a student section was at state. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'll say our, our reserve, our varsity reserve girls, those girls yeah. are always cheering as loud as they can for us. So I call them mm -hmm. um, student section leaders because yeah. they are the loudest and best supporters while we're on the ice. So. Yeah. Interesting. Good question. Why, why can't you guys check? <sighs> Don't, I didn't asking. make the rules. <laughs> no, but you want to check, though, right? Them. Okay, and you're a defenseman, so you want to check too, right? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and but you were talking about earlier, Lauren, that you got that you kind of kind of did some checks, like sneaky checks. Is that what you do? Just a little bit, maybe. Okay. All right. Interesting. Brett, do you have something? Yeah, let's do this from Roxy125. What was your favorite memory from the season, other than winning the state title? Mm. Hmm. That's a tough one. Oh, I got. Uh, oh, go ahead. You can start, Tori. I'll say our um, Hudson slash St. Croix trip because, you know, overnights are always just mm -hmm. fun when you have your team together. So I'll just say that because it was just fun. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Go ahead. I can't think of them. I just, the team is so fun and it's just always great to be around them. Well, that's a memory. Yeah. That counts, right, Brett? Absolutely. You got something else? Yeah, let's do this one. Mr. Magoo again. Did you have any good bus drivers this year? And what was your longest road trip? Longest road trip. Let's do that first, and then um, your favorite bus. The trip. longest road trip was probably up to Hudson. Yeah. Okay. We did our little tournament. I don't know how long. How long is Hudson? How long is that? Four hours. Four hours, Four hours yeah. on the bus. Car. Our, our trips were Hudson and on Alaska, and those are pretty. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. somewhere. it's fun. I do have a favorite bus driver. Let's though. hear it. It was the one that drove us to state because he was he was kind of a cool dude. So yeah. I just I liked him a lot. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. You agree? Well, yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Before we get to your next question, Brett, I did want to finish off the roster. We were talking about the best answer, and who's the worst answer, if you don't mind me asking? Worst answer. Hmm. You don't have to call anybody out. If I, you don't I can't do that. Okay. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I don't really even know. Funniest. Who's the funniest? Um, Riley Mollick. Riley Mollick, yeah. Okay, and Riley why is that? Mollick. Why would you say that? She's a funny gal. Oh, I have to go with Emma Webster, actually. I'm going to change my oh. answer. Riley Mollick and Emma Webster, those two are always together, and mm -hmm. they're both they're super guaranteed funny. guaranteed to make you keep laugh. You, keep at you some ladies, point. Uh, you know. So like keep up, light yeah. up, okay. All right, good stuff. And here's the one, the most serious, who's just like, needs to chill. Um, our team really isn't serious. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, but that one probably has to go to Tori. Yeah. Wow, she's, okay. She's always grounded. She keeps us focused, but. You agree um, with that right away. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's mostly because um, I know that it's fun to be excited and everything, mm -hmm. but I also know that there's games to play, mm -hmm. so okay. I try not to be the one that's like, hey, we gotta be serious, but I mm -hmm. try to be the one that's a little bit more level-headed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, interesting. Brett, did you have something from online? Well, let's go back to the bus. Hockey 101 wants to know, what's your best bus memory? Um, <laughs> every time on the bus is just, it's something. Um, you know, and you guys take goes, the coach buses, right? Uh, we usually take coach buses when it's over an hour, over okay. an hour and a half. Okay. Otherwise, we'll just take a regular school, school okay. bus. But um, I don't know. We just, everyone gathers together and we just talk and, I don't know, uh, the my girls dance. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite bus memory is after the sectional final because oh. that was the loudest I think I've yeah. ever heard a bus of yeah. girls. And I think our coach could agree with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Good stuff. Beth, do you have something else? Yeah, a couple from Gretzky. Uh, first one, any challenges in skating on a larger sheet of ice at state than you normally do during the hockey Ooh. or the high school season? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. question. Um, give me some thoughts there. Lauren, did that ever, ever you know, cross your mind or anything? I don't know. It's not really a downside. I mean, you might get a little tired from having to go further off the dots to the okay. side and down, but um, it gives you a lot of space to get wide and open up the ice for passes and skating. Okay. So it's kind of a benefit. Okay, how about for you, Tori? Uh, part of our um, 
part of what our coach talks about is getting wide and using the mm -hmm. ice. So okay. actually having a big ice, it works really well for our team, especially mm -hmm. with our speed. So okay. um, I liked it. It's just that when you got on a bigger ice at state and it was really yeah. hot, it you noticed after a while. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Brett, did you have something yeah, else? Yeah. Uh, back to Gretzky. Favorite hockey barn to play in? Do you ever play in any cool arenas? Um, Maybe we could do worse one too. <laughs> I can okay. think of one arena that I've I been I really like cool. the Eagle River. Yes. Oh, Eagle no, River. Why? 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 Eagle River. It's a wooden dome. Oh, they got really cool okay. beams and stuff. So I don't know. It's also has the cool. Hockey Hall of yeah. Fame right yeah. in front. Yeah, it so. does. You, 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 you said the same yeah, thing. Well, I have the same thing because yeah. I'm, I played there in my youth okay. days too, so I played there a lot. And I just love that rink because mm -hmm. I love cold rinks and those rinks are freezing. It's freezing. So okay. and it's, it's also just a cool atmosphere. So highly recommend seeing a hockey game at that place. Awesome. It's so I'm gonna give it a cool. try. So I was gonna ask the one that you uh, maybe not your least favorite. Uh, oh. Anything come um, to mind? You can be out of the area. You don't have to say anything in the area. I don't really know. I mean, oh. we're used to Tri County, and Tri County is, is kind of a interesting. Dump, so. I did not say that. <laughs> we'll, we'll take anything. <laughs> Tri County's okay. a little chilly at times. It is too, I yeah. Like Even with the heat. Yeah, the ice is perfectly fine. It's just a little old. Yeah, yeah. a little wee bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have something else? No, nope, that's it. Okay. Um, what's one misconception? A couple. We're wrapping up here, by the way. One misconception about hockey that people do that you think people don't know? Um, I, I don't know. Like I said before, that we can't check, so it's boring. Oh, that's, okay. It's not really the case. Okay. You know, I'd have to agree with that. Another thing is that some people are just like. Um, how do I explain this? Well, I guess I have to go with the girls' hockey thing. They say, mm -hmm. well, if you're not hitting, then what's the point? It's mm -hmm. like, okay, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, the, the game involves more we, than just <laughs> we don't, no. We don't get that. We like okay. to, we actually have an interesting game with, um, you know, strategies. Mm -hmm. And usually you see a lot of guys, like, not pointing them out or anything, but you see them try to hit people a lot more than yes. put the yeah. puck in the net. And we're more focused mm -hmm. on putting the puck in the net. definitely part of the strategy, the physical part. Okay, <laughs> yeah. interesting. Good stuff, ladies. Good stuff. Brent, let me know if you have anything else. All right. Um, we talked about the next step in college for you too, but uh, have you thought about majors or anything like that, Lauren? Um, I haven't like determined what I exactly want to do, but I do want to do something like health sciences. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not certain. Okay. You got time. I got time. <laughs> I think I'm going to do nursing. Um, I'm really into the medical field, okay. and I narrowed it down to physician assistant or nursing, and I think I'm leaning towards nursing. Very smart. Great stuff. Okay. This is where we do our shout outs. Rosie, show them the camera they'll be looking at. Okay. There. Go ahead. Lauren, you Can she start. go first? Wait, how many am I allowed she to do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't we, we'll we'll, 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 we'll do Tori first. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my brother. Um, he probably won't see this, but I'm going to do it anyway. He is in the Army at Fort Drum in New York, so I'm going to give him a shout out because he's a pretty <coughs> cool dude. And I bet he just... He loved telling me about his five mile run this morning. So, mm -hmm. and I was doing this. So, you know what? I'm going to give him a shout out to him. Also to my dad and my mom because she's right here. But... Um, <laughs> Because they're always there with me and um, mm -hmm. love them a lot, and they've been with me since day one. And I gotta go with my boyfriend Trent because everyone's okay. mentioned it to me. Uh oh, yeah. I guess I, mean, <laughs> I gotta go with him. All right. Well, on the other hand, I don't have a boyfriend, so okay. I won't be shouting him out. Okay. Um, I do want to shout out my mom and dad, Dave and Cindy Hall. They're awesome. They support me. Um, they really got me into hockey, and it's my passion now. So I appreciate it. And then. The rest of the team, the stars, I mean, they got us here. We won the state championship with them, so I don't know, they need to be recognized as well. Okay, good stuff. You know, my shout goes out to Coach Fox because you were patient with us. I wanted to have I wanted to have you ladies actually on the show last week, but then you ladies were already going to Madison and stuff like that. Yeah. So figured what what better way than to show off the trophy? make it a championship edition show so thank you coach fox for the access i really appreciate it um here's my last thing let's 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 forward 10 or 15 years in the future right okay. and you ladies already have your, your degrees you have your families all that kind of stuff what's what's the top thing you're going to remember back from this what, what what's gonna when you're thinking about you know what it's mid-march you know or, or early march and we and this is when we won the state title like 10 mm -hmm. years ago what do you think is going to go through your head um, I don't know, right after Maddie Jablonski scored and we all hugged and we were just going crazy, I think that's going to stay with me. Okay. I'm just going to remember that. Okay. I don't know. Good. Same thing for you, Tori? I'll have to go with the game tying goal and the game winner and also um, the seniors being able to lift the trophy. That yeah. is like going to be engraved in my mind forever. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was like the coolest moment for us. Okay. So, yeah. Outstanding. Good, good stuff. So, thank you everyone for tuning in to tonight's show. 
Again, these are the champs right here. Black <laughs> City Stars girls hockey. The first time, by the way, going down there. And you know, that's yeah. a, you, you're very efficient in winning that, that state title, which again, we, we show it off up there. I, you know, I really like the little hockey girl up there. That's really nice. She has a star on her Oh, yeah. no way, yeah. really? I don't know, Rosie, can you zero in on that? I don't know if you can do it. Look at Rosie, like, no. <laughs> but so she does have a star in the helmet. Yeah, we, so we, we saw that on the way home and we we're like, yeah, it, we was, it, it was after. destiny. <laughs> wow, that is in. Incredible. So yeah, well thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you, you know you guys have a lot to do, a lot of celebrating to do, all that kind of stuff. So again, uh, for Lauren Hall and for Tori Nelson, I'm Ricardo Arguello. Don't forget about Brett Christofferson and Jim Rosendip. We're all part of USA Today Network Wisconsin. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's show. Check us out again next week. We hope to have maybe some girls champions on the team, uh, girls basketball champs possibly on the big show, or maybe even some boys heading to the state tournament. So best place to check us out again, facebook.com slash postcrescent. Until then, have a great week, everyone. Have a good one, and we'll see you back here next week for another episode of the Varsity Roundtable. Keep smiling. <laughs>